Hi and welcome to this week's web design video. Today we're taking a look at Yahoo's Wiseslow extension for Firefox. Wiseslow is a fantastic free tool for web designers who wish to scrutinize the contributing factors to a web page's load time. As you may know, optimizing the load time or speed of a web page has multiple benefits for both the website owner and the front end users. Obviously, the faster a page loads, the better the usability. Faster loading web pages put less pressure on your server and bandwidth. And also, faster loading pages are a contributing factor in organic search rankings. To start using Wiseslow extension, you'll firstly need the latest version of Firefox. And also, you'll need the popular free web development extension called Firebug. If you're already familiar with Firebug, Wiseslow is great because it simply plugs straight into Firebug. So let's check it out. So here's Firefox, and as you can see in the bottom right corner here, I have uh, Firebug already installed, and I'm uh, quite familiar with Firebug. So to install Wiseslow, uh, just simply pop into Google uh, Wiseslow extension, or click on the link on our supporting blog post, and you'll be taken to the uh, Mozilla Firefox add-on page for the Yahoo Wiseslow plugin. So you simply push the green button to uh, install the extension, like with all other extensions, and you install that. And as usual, you restart Firefox whenever you uh, install a new extension. So simple as that to install Wiseslow. And you'll now notice in the uh, bottom right corner um, of Firefox, uh, alongside our Firebug icon, we've now got a Wiseslow icon. So uh, I've got a web page open. Um, this is uh, this is Door. This is one of our sort of clients who we uh, work with on their on their website. And I can pop open the Wiseslow extension, and you'll notice that it's in the same uh, sort of uh, drawer that uh, Firebug uses. So I've got access to all of the Firebug tools, and Wiseslow simply appears on the end. So the Wiseslow extension. Um, initially, you uh, have a bit of a an option here on the initial page to auto run Wiseslow each time web page is loaded. Uh, this obviously puts a bit of pressure on uh, on the browser and your computer. So I tend to literally leave that unticked and to individually run a test on a page um, whenever I need to. So let's run uh, door through and you'll see initially that you get a grade and once you run a test on a page you'll also see down here in the bottom right corner that you can actually see the little grade and also the uh, the file size of the page that's loaded. So the door home page is 175 uh, kilobytes which is uh, nice and low and the Wiseslow plugins given the, the page an overall rating of a B, which is really good. And you can see there the overall score is 81 out of 100. So the initial view, the grade, which is here, uh, gives you a bit of a breakdown as to how that score uh, has accumulated. And you can see here uh, there's things that are uh, we have been graded an F on, um, and it gives advice on how to, uh, how to improve that grade. Um, if uh, you know if it's more relevant to you as a web designer to uh, just to look at the analysis of certain things like images, um, you know you can see here that we're getting uh, sort of double A's, uh, things like CSS. You can sort of um, you know go through and optimize those accordingly. Um, I mean most people are probably aware that it can be images and scripts that make up the majority of uh, of a load time of a page. So really useful here to see the the grade and the breakdown, but not only see what you're doing well, but to see where why slow is marking you down and also it gives you some explanations and some advice on how you can improve that grade. So if we move along to the second tab which is components, uh, this is quite a useful view that uh, shows you the breakdown of the loading time, the, the files are loaded for the page and you can organize by type, uh, you can organize the files by size and you can really get an idea of what the sort of you know the, the big uh, contributing factors are to the load time of this page. So the biggest file, which takes up almost uh, a third of the load time, is the jQuery library, which is uh, which is used on the uh, on the home page uh, to load load the slider just here. So this can be really useful to uh, you know to really determine what the big what the big file sizes maybe that are contributing to the load time. You've also got the statistics. And the statistic graph shows you a bit of a breakdown. Uh, you know, the pie chart obviously references the whole, uh, you know, the, the whole file size of the home page and shows you how that's broken down from the HTML to JavaScript to the uh, style sheets, images, and even the uh, the fav icon. You've also got the uh, the sort of primed cache view, uh, which sort of shows you indicates 
um, what would or wouldn't be in the browser's cache when the user revisits the uh, the page, for example. Then finally, the great thing about the YSlow plugin is that uh, in addition to giving you the analysis, uh, giving you the breakdown of the components and the statistics, it also gives you some easy access to some tools that can further uh, compress certain files and help you optimize your web page. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out all of these. Uh, just for example, one that, that I quite like is uh, Yahoo's Smush It tool. And Smush It, if we click on this, it will take us to the uh, Smush It web page. And it's automatically already uh, taking all of the images off the uh, door.co.uk homepage and it's compressing them. So it's saying it's smushed 3.22% or 2 kilobyte from the size of the images. Uh, I mean, I've already ran this uh, web page through Smush It, so the file size is already further compressed, but it's saying it can save a further 2 kilobytes. It essentially uploads your images, you can see the sprites there, and compresses them and allows you to download them so that you can re-upload them to your web page at the smaller file size. So it's some really useful tools um, on the uh, on the tools tab of the YSO plugin. So that's it, nice and simple. As I said, it's uh, it's free. Uh, it's by Yahoo and it works uh, really well alongside the Firebug extension. Thank you for watching this week's web design video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on our sporting blog post.